Hey guys, welcome back. Part 12, if I'm not mistaken. Deep playthrough crisis. 10 year anniversary edition playthrough. Um, we are in a mine. Everything collapsed around because the aliens, they came a bit back to life or something. And there is no way out but to go and we have to just go further into the mine. And I think after we exit it, I think we will be in the freezing part of the game. So not the, the tropical parts like uh, the sunshine and the green, but in the cold and the white is uh, I think what we will come out of. And yeah, also I think there will be a veto section coming up like the vertical takeoff and landing vehicles that also rescued the the woman that was just there and while we uh, fell further down she was rescued by a veto and maybe that is uh, also after this level but we will just have to see it has been 10 years so i don't remember it's a cool lighting effect and there's only one thing like when we had the tank level not that long ago I had to re-enable some hot elements because I don't losing your video feed. You hear me? No man! Vulture, you're breaking up. Do you read me, over? Vulture, do you copy? I'm trying to boost my video signal. I hope you guys are getting this. Try to describe what I'm seeing. I'm in some kind of tunnel, a cave, like crystallized rock, but more structured. I've never seen anything like this. It's dark, cold, incredibly cold. The walls are irregular, like the outer shell. It looks almost organic. I hope you guys can see this. Anyways, I had to re-enable some hot elements in the tank section because otherwise you didn't have like a crosshair to aim accurately over distance because you cannot really like aim down the sides in a vehicle. And maybe I have to tweak that as well in the um, for the VTOL section that's coming up. But I do think I just kept it the way it, it is, like the vehicle crosshair. So it could all be just fine, but that's just... Um, yeah, more of a mental note to myself than interesting for the playthrough. It could also be that I disabled it again, because the problem is if you have like that crosshair, the reason I uh, removed it from vehicles, from like the tank and stuff, is because it also appears in, in boats. And having like in your speedboat, having like this really big huge hut popping up without any reason is super unimmersive. So that's why I disabled it in the first place. But maybe I have to tweak it for the VTOL section because we do have to shoot uh, a bit, uh, if I remember. Unless that was Crisis 2, but I'm not sure. And I'm also not sure whether this is actually the, l the last part of Crisis 1 is actually also in a section like this. But then I think it's actually in the spaceship itself of the aliens, in zero G. And currently I think we are only in a mine, but at least we are in alien territory. Here, there is an alien over there. Right? I've got movement. Shit, it's the same thing that got profit. Ah, that's funny. It was not an alien. It was simply... This this structure was simply made out to look like an alien. To keep some tents going. But that's a real one. Ready for deployment. What? I 
I just lost gravity. Huh, we we are myself. In this will take some getting used to. We are in zero G. And I know the end of the game is also in zero G. So I don't hope this is the end of the game because we are supposed to still go outside in the winterland. Maybe we can get in here? No. I do remember the first time playing this, this that this section was uh, the zero G, the, like the sci-fi was totally unexpected. Because it's of course pretty different from the tropical islands that yeah we're used to by now. And we have like this little l lighting indicator that we have to go here, I guess. That was an alien, so I'm not sure whether it's wise to go there, but there is no other way. Come on, man. It's like there's a current pushing me back. I'm going to keep moving against the flow. I wonder how hard this part is, because we do have to shoot in zero G and we are on Delta difficulty level. So I wonder. If there's like a thousand times dying section coming up. Because, because I remember that it was quite difficult actually. Ah, maybe this, the spaceship section maybe wasn't the last part. Maybe I, that was just a fac figment of my imagination. Anyway, I know it. there's a hard section coming up. I know this was difficult from 10 years ago. Like a little graphical uh, bug going on over here. Where the hell is he? Tension! Ah, but we of course have manual safe, I forgot. I forgot we're playing an old game instead of a new game with random, random checkpoints. Holy shit, what was that? Already scouting out for cover places. By the way, the controls, they really feel, feel like zero-g. It's super cool uh, 
controlling nomad. What was that? Hmm. Was that the vein that we... M no. Ah, that's like uh, an invisible wall over here. Alright, I don't feel like having to fight those dudes. Ah, we of course have our suit powers intact. Holy shit. That's the annoying thing. This is where we came from. So it's it's pretty big now and we are super slow. That's a bit annoying. Because I do like to check out each new cranny. But that will take quite some time. Okay, this is where we came from, I guess, yes. So the left one we have checked out. Did we check out that left one? Yeah, and we came back around in here, I guess. So let's just go there. Or do we still have two options? Here's also an option. And we come back out over there. So indeed yeah, or indeed, I have no idea where to go. Did we... Um, no, because if this one is also a circle... If I remember correctly, yes, we went in there, we come out over there, we checked out, I think, that one already. And we came out over there, I guess. So it are two circles, it seems. There's probably some kind of side path that I'm not recognizing. where we came from. Annoying. Yeah, that is the, if I would say visual cues, I would say go there, but we just did. this something no this is where we came from right
Yes, it is. Anyways, how much cool this is. I find it more gimmicky than anything. So... I understand they want to need uh, want to or need to mix it up a bit the gameplay because it were also at that time 10 years ago the games were pretty long longer than now they are now ah man how can I overlook that it's like staring me right in the face I'm really good at stuff like that missing the obvious anyway um, so I understand they mix it up This is the fight, I guess. Anyways, I understand they mix it up, but I, I like the... Um Whatever that was, it's dead now. I like the tropical settings better. The tropical parts of the game. I hear you, but I don't see you. It's cool that they remain, uh, keep their physics. That's different than the, uh, the human NPCs. They don't have ragdoll anymore uh, after you kill them. No ragdoll physics anymore. But they, yeah, of course the, the, the alien model up close, I don't find it that scary. But the atmosphere now, it's pretty cool. It really is a bit like the alien movie. Saving the recording, one sec. Back in business. Man, if you are an alien like that, it's, it's not like they are building like this cozy house for themselves. It's a pretty depressing place, I would say. This is what I remember. This is a pretty tough chamber. God damn it. Where is our cover? Ah, they're doing human experimentation, I guess. Oh no, that's also an alien. Because it's pretty tough to, to hit them. And there will be quite a lot of them, I guess. I guess we have to shoot out those things.
Won't be long before I'm running out of bullets, I guess. Pretty freaky. Okay, there's something here. Um Cannot really blow that up. Let's check out the apparatus. Ah, that's probably like a switch from that door to the other, like a portal game. Don't think I can interact with it, so screw that. Ah. Again, the obvious, here we have to go. But let's first check if we can get to the, through that section. Or that portal. Let's see what happens. Hey, and there's also a side room. No, we cannot get through. Let's check out the side room. Nothing much. All right, let's. Ah, this is like a. What is this? Kind of a circular portal? No, they're just like tentacles or electricity, energy holding. Uh, Wires. Looks like a way out. But the current's pushing me back. I need to knock out these generators. Which generator? There are actually two exits. Doesn't really work. Hmm. Doesn't look too good. They do look a bit organic. More so than a lot of enemies in modern games, actually. I'm pretty sure that that will be the trigger, yeah. That was uh, what I was afraid of. That will be a trigger for more enemies, I guess. But is he over there?
Okay, let's first get in. Pretty um, fast. Okay, let's wait for the next wave. It's pretty predictable, actually. Right, um, we have there, but we also had a portal here, and I guess there was one energy source left uh, here. God damn it! I didn't have any bullets anymore I don't like this shooting shotguns over here give me the spread fire okay what do we have more Nothing much. Right, where are you? Two at a time, motherfuckers. God damn it. Screw my life. Holy shit. Freaky. Yeah, they did a good job making it freaky. There he is. No, back. All right, next one. No idea how many bullets left. Or can we already now? Yeah, we can already escape now. We don't need to close two of them, I guess. Or, uh, yeah. I think we can just get in now. Right. And that the other one comes out of there, maybe? Where did we came from? From a hole like that. Ah, uh, it's a deep playthrough. Let's do it thoroughly and not the half-assed way god damn it where did we came from ah over there the 
Is it now closed off? God damn it. No, it's not. Okay. So, we have that one open. And the other one is over there. It's good practice, because I think there will be another part where we have to kill more of these dudes. No more enemies, I guess. Or, yes, there is. There he is. Two more enemies, actually. Or was that the same one? Damn it. Lingering around. Hey, I hit you in your face. I hit you. God damn it. There you are. Yeah, they did a terrific job here. Okay, the only problem is now I don't remember which one we already had and which we didn't. I think this is the one that's new. Let's check it out. What the hell is that? Is that where we came from? Man. I am disorientated. Where did I see that big hole? Over there. What's this? Yeah, I guess that's just where we came from. Right, let's check out this one. Uh, this looks pretty much the same is where we were previously except for what's this ah this is that big hole oh that's not where we came from it's actually a new opening i guess but let's check it out we're in a thorough playthrough i think we just went through that one let's see that one probably comes out as well over there Let's just check it out. And let's check out the rest. What would be cool if in zero G, it would work if we now shoot that we, our kickback will propel us backwards. Our, um, not kickback, our back, Backlash from the gun. What is it? The I forgot about the word. The yeah, kickback. I guess. Yes, it does. Check it out. We let's see if it's less with a less powerful weapon. Yes, it doesn't do anything.
Okay, I just want to get my bearings straight. Where the ho It's annoying that the camera auto rotates. That's super annoying. You cannot even see where the hell we came from. I guess from here, but where is the tunnel? Come on, people. Oh, here it is. Hidden away. So there is a tunnel. Then the camera auto rotates annoyingly. There are spiky things. There is the big hole. So we came from that pillar, I guess. And we want to check if the other pillar over there comes out the same. And I think it should. So that one should be somewhere around here, yes. So this is a pillar. Then we have the entrance and probably we have another pillar right over there. Okay. It's because it's so confusing here, it's nice to get your bearings a bit. Okay, so this is the big entrance that actually every normal person should have taken uh, from the start instead of messing about with that pillar and that pillar. But yeah, that's why I call my playthroughs deep playthroughs because I can tend to linger on the details uh, a bit more than the average Joe. Okay, so we have a left and a right. Let's take right for a change. The left looked a bit spiky, although, or the right, yeah, although this also looks spiky. This is what I meant with spiky. This is, I think, then the left path. Yeah. Let's see if they react. Yes, they do. Super cool. Such a cool game. It's so... Not 2007, this. You, I don't remember exactly what all came out in 2007, but I know it didn't look like this. This this really looks like fear that came out in 2010 or something, and and that had a much smaller scale as well. It's actually almost as creepy as fear was with Alma. But there's one. One jump scare in noise again. fear. Sounds like this place could come down any minute. There's one jump scare in fear that I really, that's I think unsurpassed. And that's when you, in a factory like building, you climb onto uh, a, like a yellow ladder to uh, get down. And once you move your vision to, uh, yeah, to, to turn your back to get on the ladder, which is, uh, yeah, attached to a, a wall, then suddenly the little Alma girl is standing at like, like tents, 
centimeters uh, in front of your face and that's like the biggest jump scare ever because all the time you know she's somewhere but and then she's right in your face super cool god damn it more of those bastards let's try the trusty gun I cannot stay still, that's super annoying. Where is it? Over there. God damn it, motherfuckers. God damn it! I have no idea whether it's in front of me or in the back. I guess in the back. Yes. You really have to hit it spot on with the shotgun there's hardly any um, pellet uh, scatter shotgun pellets like like a white sc scattering pattern it's really like pretty uh, focused area of effect okay i hear you but Seeing you would be nice as well, alien. There you are. God damn it, this is what I find annoying about these guys. You really have to hit them like straight in the face. Ah, at least we have a gun. By the way, they did do a terrific job, like making it cool. Like cool music. Hey, forgot about those. We have incendiary ammo. Let's make use of them. There's some kind of cable running through the entire cavern. God damn it. It looks biological, no. but it seems to be coursing with electrical current. Here. We need that gun. Okay, where the hell did I come from? Because there was more goodies, Captain Emmett. Looks like they've been gathering objects from outside. Yeah, this is going to be a big fight, and I guess it's going to be super frustrating. I hear stuff. Okay, I guess that's where we came in. Holy shit. There's more of these machines. 
You're different than the others. What the hell is going on here? Ah, there she come. He is coming. I guess. them coming ah, and that's maybe because of the incendiary I wanted to say he was more weak but that's maybe the incendiary bullets that do a terrific job What's also cool is the music you hear that it's actually like it makes sense in game it's like a radio that the GI had on him when he was brought in that is still playing that somehow still has reception oh it's actually just like this radio we can even put it out that's so cool And I guess put it back on, I hope. Hmm. No, we cannot put it back on. Okay, let's, I think, continue. One sec. Um, there we go not. We go over there. Let's check a bit to get our bearings again. What the hell was that? Uh, that were like these pots where they store stuff. That's where we have to go and we have to go in through there and there will be an annoying fight over there, I'm pretty sure. Because how much I like this part, I don't really like fighting in zero three G very mobile enemies. I find that a bit annoying. But I must say, these bullets, they do wonders. One second. One second. Check something. Right. I'm back. Oh, pretty cool, but I have no idea what to do. I'll probably go there. You cannot deny these aliens being um, busy little uh, rascals. Building away, doing their stuff. Okay, I just know this is going to be annoying. I feel it.
right. That wall is now removed or something? Yeah, that's where we came from. That's where an alien went in. That's where we came from. Holy shit! A small energy transfer. Fire and ice. Now, can I get in there then or something? Yeah, but I don't think it's safe. Holy shit, can I get out there? Holy fuck. Alright, let's save it. Super annoying auto uh, camera going on. Okay, let's just see if we can get back there. It looks like it's. Yeah, we can just get there. Let's kill off as much as those assholes. I think these gateways are on a timer, like a sequence. Maybe I can slip through it by time it. Yeah, and let's kill them as much as possible from a distance. Because you don't want to be ganged up on those assholes. I don't really see a timer uh, opportunity here. Hello, hello. Okay, that could be it. Here we go. That's the second one that went through there. Or it was the same one. Man, I'm wasting precious incendiary ammo here. Oh. Holy shit. There's one extra here. I do hear him, or I hear something. Nice. Okay, let's save the game. I don't want to have to replay this. And save the recording while I'm. There's another asshole. was actually shooting at me. Oh, 
Oh man, I dislike this game or this part. Way too annoying. Where the hell are you, alien? Come on, don't be so annoying. Okay, screw. No, not screw you, I'm gonna shoot you. Ah, there you are. Screw you. Okay, I guess we have to get uh, further ahead. But let's check out this little underground passage. Which is blocked off. They have their own cute little guns. Their pink little shooty uh, pistols. Okay, let's get ahead. I mean, this is the correct direction, I hope. And let's prepare for some more assholes. Okay, that are two exits we cannot use. Actually, four exits or uh, or pathways. You would think this is a bit the the silence before the storm. Okay, they are busy at it. Good for them. Let's get ahead. I don't see anything really worthwhile in that section. You actually hear like thruster-like sound when I move. But as far as I know, the nano suit doesn't have like space thrusters. But if it had, it's like being really well preferred for any situation, including zero G situations. So kudos to the designers of the nano suit. That's just where we came from. This is a waste of precious incendiary ammo. Cool how the bullets, the bullet effects, it's like Max Payne. In slow motion they return. Holy shit. I hear something. Here, check it out. Pew. Ok, 
Okay, that one is going out or in. Let's take the one that's going out. But we had two more, I guess. One moment. There were four of those pathways. And I thought they were all like blocked, but that one is accessible. So then maybe the other two also have an accessible one. But or where was I imagining the other two? Two over there. I thought two have seen more. Ah, over there. But those two, they are also both coming out or coming in the beam but that beam is coming out so let's check that one and let's be 100% sure indeed we cannot use the beams that are coming in yes we cannot so let's follow the one going out one two Wee! Wormhole! Whoa, 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 I'm a cowboy! Wee! Holding on for dear life! Wee! Oh, oh! Holy shit! Where are we going? Shit! Where the hell am I? Hmm. Oh! Wee! Hold on! For dear life! People! Here we go! Wee! All right, and accelerate or decelerate. Oh, stop! No. Okay, here we are. That was a hell of a ride. For sure. Damn! I was actually hoping that we would be spit out outside. Enough of these fucking aliens. But guess we have some more shooting to do. I mean, I like it and all, but it's what I said, a more of a gimmick to me. remember something of like this I mean I, I find it cool to just explore around but I don't find those aliens cool here more pots so probably there's uh, more fighting coming up and I remember one pretty big room with like this super big fight which was super annoying and that's just what I look up against a bit Although I must say, until now, it wasn't that difficult. But this is a good time to save, because here's a safety save. Because there's quite some ammo over here. Should I pick the wrong weapon? Maybe it's good to go with the minigun. I don't know. I for now intend to keep our current guns. Because the incendiary ammo does wonders in my book. But 
But I must say this is cool level design. How to explain the way where you would find human ammo in a place like this. Like that they collect outside stuff for research or anything. And by the way, I don't even think there is a minigun here. I only thought so because of the minigun ammo over there. But I don't see any actual minigun. Unless you would have brought it inside. Which I think I didn't, or did I? No, I didn't. Just... Why can't I customize my weapon? I can customize that one, but I cannot customize the pistol. That's a bummer. I wanted to put... Oh man. I wanted to put the laser aim on. Really weird controller things going on now okay whatever um, anyhow anywho there's a pot over there and a pot over there nothing over there we have like this looks like a schematic of the caverns by the looks of it the cave system is huge schematic of the caverns the run through the entire structure It's also pretty cool that they do resemble a bit like predator-like aliens. And also a bit the aliens from the movie Alien. The whole vibe is like that. Okay. That's all nice and well. I guess we came from there. These are the pots. Where the holy hell do we go? Oh no, we came from over there. We came from a wormhole. So probably we should go. We can go over there. Or we can go over there. But let's briefly check out what happens in that room. There are big aliens being constructed over here. Yeah, this is what I'm afraid of, goddammit. I think yeah, we're gonna fight these ones, but the big one we will fight as well, I guess. It, this game has so much in it, like big bosses, varied scenery. Yeah, this is so annoying. Check it out. Super annoying. Uh, save extra. I'm not the most accurate guy in the world. And 
and taking two or three is fine, but being bumped by these guys, screw that. Alright, that's good in my book. One down. Ah, okay, let's just use quick save. I'm just afraid I will use quick save too often and then end up without bullets. Here, come over, dude. Come on over. Yeah, damn it. I uh, was out of bullets. Come on over, dude. Ah, the regular bullets are pretty effective as well. To be honest, I was, I think, a bit afraid for nothing. They did a nice job of balancing this out. It is... They are... pretty um, doable they are pretty pre predictable and it's mostly my bad aiming that I'm getting into binds It's actually a pretty cool fight, to be honest. Also, the music is pretty cool. There's one more over there. Where did he go? Or did I get him? So cool. There's physics as well. Screw you, alien. Here, check out the bullet impact. Oh, now they don't. In the other room, the ricochet was super uh, pronounced. Um, yeah. Let's continue. And before we do, let's pick up some extra ammo or... Is there still some AK stuff? Ah, we have... Ah, we could also throw a grenade, of course. Oh, shit. That's not what we want. Um, no. We, I don't think we can throw grenades. Oh, we can. Hey, that's pretty effective. With the area of effect going on, like in in a vacuum or whatever it is, is you have a pretty wide splash damage uh, thing going on. Okay, those dudes they came from there and they came into this room, so there must be a connection. By the way, is this then? Are these the only? two or are there actually more of those pots two here yeah and there are also two there let's check out this one nice thank you no need for that Also that music here now, like that ghost music. Dee -dee 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 -dee. It's 
so cool. I will pick it up anyways. Don't have a minigun, but who cares? Um, anywho... It's all fun and games, but how the hell did those bastards get in here? Or is this now a door? It looks like an obvious path. But it looks close to me. Hmm. No. I did hear an uh, auto save. Okay. Ah, uh, this is the room, I think. Yeah, there will be coming... I think way, way more. And also a bit more aggressive, if I remember correctly. But maybe not, so... The biggest part of fear... Is the fear of fear itself, or whatever it is. Maybe it, it won't be as bad. Or maybe it will. Okay, I hear something. Oh shit! Yeah. Major Strickland, if you can hear me, you've got to get everyone off this island. These things are waking up. God damn it. This is annoying. Yeah, what the hell do you want me to do? Screw you. Man, this is annoying. One down. Oh, no, this is not a good point to save. Shooters. Fuck you. So some of them have like that these cute little guns. Some of them don't. God damn it, my mouse. Sorry. Ah, uh, that's maybe because my controller was stick was not in the center. I actually one time threw a mouse away because I thought it wasn't working anymore. Because the, the little mouse cursor on the Windows desktop went slowly to the left. I thought, oh damn, that is uh, a broken mouse, a pretty expensive gaming mouse. Then after I really threw it away, broke it further down and it was gone. I noticed that it was because my controller was plugged in uh, and uh, the controller stick was making the, um, was not centered and moving the, the cursor because I had some software that also hooked up the controller to the cursor. So that was uh, like, um, 
hundred or eighty uh, dollar mouse thrown away for nothing. So let it be a lesson lesson to all of you young ones. Did I get him or not? Is this annoying? Or is this annoying? I wonder. This is annoying. Let that be a lesson. God damn it. Oh, shit. Good thing I saved. Yeah, man, what can I do? Here, this is what I meant. This is this is just not fun. This is you cannot do anything. No idea. Yeah. Here, I couldn't do anything uh, uh, with. Ah, uh, fuck this. This is. I now know why I was uh, frustrated with this part. Come on. Okay, that's a win for me actually. Ah man, screw this. Come on dudes, I'm shooting you in the face. Okay, there's one thing I learned, it's about short bursts. And let's hope this is a good save and I won't be immediately killed after returning to the game. Sounds like a good moment to save. I guess there were two more dead. That's the problem. They really attack you like they bum rush you. Shit, where are you? Here, that's what I meant. Nomad, or do you copy? I repeat, do you We are picking up an instant signal from your transponder. Okay, I guess this was it, so that's good. It was not that bad, to be honest. Just a bit annoying. Ok, 
Okay, and now I'm actually, I wouldn't say sad, but it's, now it's like, okay, uh, a pity we have to leave this place because it's actually pretty cool. Just got a bit used to zero G, but I'm also happy to um, get back to the island. And it won't be the same island as you remembered it to be. Holy shit, there were quite a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six. It would be cool if we could get pick up his gun. Let's check that out. No, we cannot. Oh, even eights we killed. Oh, there's more of them there. Holy shit. Okay, so maybe it's still not over yet. God damn it. So if I if it's over I don't wanna leave, but if I have to fight more of these, I do want to leave. Um But that one is I think dead. But there was still uh, a live one. Okay, let's just... Um, okay, let's... One last glance. And then let's get the hell out of here. And we'll let that... Ah, no, we won't let him live. I wanted to say we will let him live. But screw that. Let's see if this kills us. Yes, it does seem to kill us. God damn it, I had the wrong weapon and no ammo. There he is. I, I would really like to kill him still. Otherwise we won't have closure. I'm saving it so that I know I'm in his virginity. Not virginity, virginity, but vicinity. And now he's gone. What an asshole. Ah, here he is. Nice closure. Screw you. Okay, I think that was just about it. Let's see the range of the shotgun. Uh, you see, the shotgun didn't hit him, but the pistol does. Okay, enough uh, alien core stuff going on. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm just saving the game to... Back in game. And here we go. Okay, not sure whether the game is crashing now. No, it's just loading. Fine. Oh my god. 
online. I'm transmitting your video data to JSOC now. I can see daylight. I'm closing in on your signal. Looks like an exit point, but I can't get too close. Approaching visual range. Ah, this is the veto part, I guess. No, this is not the veto part. I'm still not sure whether that veto part is in Crisis 1 or 2. Maybe it was Crisis 2. I could give you one, Major, but I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Whatever it is, I'm right in the eye of the storm. The whole mountain's encased in some kind of energy sphere. It's a miracle you're still alive. We're pulling everybody off the island. Roger that. I lost contact with a squad of Marines close to your position. I'm transmitting their last coordinates. Recon the area. Will do. But I doubt if anyone can survive this cold. We've set up an evac center at the foot of the valley. If you find anyone alive, Bring them here for extraction. Alright, this is what I meant with um, the island will not be the same. It is not tropical anymore. We are in a winter wasteland. And I do also remember that it's, it's nicer to have to kill KPA, human guys, than the aliens because they're pretty annoying. Also the smaller ones, they're pretty annoying. Anyways, the effects again, here, there they are. Because they really gang up on you and that's really what I dislike in games. Like cheap difficulty by having enemies that are way quicker, very lethal, uh, storming you. But yeah, maybe my uh, this is uh, different in this game. I don't remember that well. I do know I don't have any bullets left. Maybe a grenade will do something. Yes. Ah, they're not too bad. Oh shit, they do explode. I should not forget. Ah, they were actually pretty fun. And the grenade, that was like uh, amazing. But still, only having low range weapons for these assholes, it's not the best way. It would be good to get some um, assault rifle action going on. But again, amazing art design and effects. It actually sounds like Nuki or whatever, that weird furry bear-like creature from Star Wars. Muki or Nuki or something?
seriously, the, the game literally just still holds up. Let's see how a pistol deals with it. Not that well. Okay, that went still better than expected. Anyways, the game simply holds up 10 years later. Check it out. I'm not sure whether these shadows are baked in, I guess so, but still, doesn't matter. There are dynamic shadows uh, in the tropical island scenes. And I'm sure there are also dynamic shadows here. standing on I thought it was way bigger abyss luckily it wasn't I heard something good one God damn it, I cannot get to those weapons because those stupid planks are blocking it. How the hell to remove those planks? I cannot pick them up. Okay, there's only a shotgun and I cannot pick it up, so I guess I'm full. And there's not much else there, so... Good enough. Maybe we still even... Oh no, we don't. I guess incendiary ammo would be pretty effective against these ice creatures. But we are out. I know there's a big one coming up, I guess. It actually feels cold. There's the big one. I guess it would be best to get a rocket launcher. Okay, it's just drifting off. I'm not sure why my visor froze. That's maybe if you're standing still too long that it gets condensed.
pretty glad with the AK. And also really crafty way with like the bodies, human bodies that disappear because you cannot shoot like thousand bodies or hundreds and the game has to remember each and every one of them. That's just for performance reasons. They get removed. But for these aliens, it makes sense that they do like some kind of self destruction. And that's actually a really clever way to not be distracted by bodies or, uh, in this case, uh, uh, the, the, the destroyed aliens being magically disappearing. Because I find that so unimmersive. I also actually modded the duration at which the, the human bodies disappear uh, to be uh, somewhat longer. There are quite a lot of them. Holy shit. It would so be so cool if if one explodes that it takes the other one with it. They have it balanced out pretty well. I guess that if you're really nearing death, that they themselves also hold out a bit. So to give you a chance to uh, win the fight in a cool way, like in a tense way. I think there was just like rubber banding a bit in racing games, like Gran Turismo used to do that. Like that if you are really far behind that the top cars, they slow down a bit. And if you're like in your last round, that they also hold off a bit, or that that they uh, so that you can really in a cool manner win the race in the last round, like that that it's a, it's a bit directed, so to say, to keep the the gameplay uh, epic. I'm not saying it is the case like that, but it feels a bit. Like it was way easier actually to kill five of them than I thought it would be. Maybe I'm just super good, but I doubt it. get them from the other side please take your buddy with him no it didn't work Uh, you simply just have a little second to to get your aim. 
I really didn't don't mind them that much actually. I knew a lot of people when this game came out were um, put off by the yeah this section of the game, but still actually I find it really cool. I mean, I cannot imagine the game is already pretty long and it's still we're still not there yet. I cannot imagine only being on the tropical uh, islands. So this is uh, quite a good change of pace, I, say, I would say. Actually, really well done. Let's check out the other side, that we're not like missing out on very cool scenery. And again, you have like the multiple paths, that's eh? so cool. Yeah, that's what I mean. We also could have just gone down from there and we would not have noticed this uh, provisions. Ah. Would also be cool if the aliens are put off by fire. So that we would be safe if we stand around here. And by the way, look at the fire. It looks pretty realistic compared to modern games where it often still fire is pretty hard to get right but they did a pretty good job here I think ah. but my visor shouldn't be freezing near the fire okay um, I have to think how long is this part already it's pretty long huh? Let's continue for a bit. I'm saving the recording, just to be safe. And we're back. Um, <coughs> right. Killing aliens. And also the transition from like the tropical island fighting the uh, yeah the Viet Cong like KPA. It was really well done with that mine and then the alien core, and then like this total other world where you actually have to fight the not the alien helpers like the little workers in the core. But the actual fighting machines. And also the, the contradiction between palm trees and winter. Super cool. There's nothing there, right? No. Oh. I would like to get on top of there. I'm sure there will be provisions. I guess it's possible with that tree. Can we get to that tree? By the way, this is the main path, right? That we have to take, I guess. Yes, it is. It's like a little village.
Damn, I wanted to land on it. Let's just check if we can get back up from where we came from. Also, I think the red of our suit is like a little bit more dark, it looks. Okay, we, we cannot get to that tree, I guess. Maybe if we can make this jump. I don't think we can. We can try. No. I for sure thought that would have been like a, a fatal drop, but luckily we survived. Anyways, let's get back to the village. Sir, no survivors. Now, I got two platoons lost up on that mountain. Okay, we need to get you out of there. Make your way to the edge of the sphere. I'll try to arrange a pickup. Good one. Let's get the ugly bastards a taste of their own. With me, son? Hell yeah. Where the hell were you, Prophet? We thought you were dead. What have I ever been that easy to kill? Pretty cool again. Heads up, we got more hostiles in now. Okay, I'm cheesing my way out of this one. Yes, I'm doing that. Check it easy. No, no. Ah! Take it easy, you dude. Nomad, Jester, and... I have no idea what's his Nomad! name. Nomad! Get over here! Yeah, take it easy. What's his name again? You have Jester, Nomad, and... I have no idea. Jester's malfunctioning. Profit. Internal nice. temperature's dropping. Unless I get out of here fast, I'm gonna freeze to death. Okay. I rigged one of their weapons. Take it! How the hell did you get this thing working? I'll explain later. We need to regroup. Go back in. Not until we get you fixed up. I'm taking cover. I see it's not gonna hold out much longer. Hang on, Prophet. I'll get us out of here. I'm freezing up. Need a heat source. I didn't, by the way, remove that hot element. But yeah, I'm too lazy to remove it now. So, it's only temporary. Now, what the hell do I have to do? Yeah, 
Yeah. God damn it, this will be annoying. I have a sense this will be really annoying. Here, you have like a source over there. Way too annoying. Screw this weapon. God damn it. I don't want to replay this too often. Okay, come on dudes. Prophet is dying over here. Prophet, get the hell out of here. Ah man, and I just saved. The game is stuck. Ah, there they are. This is actually going fine. I don't mind the game being stuck. What's the hold up, Nomad? My boys are expecting you at the evac center. I found profit. He's alive with the suit's malfunction. We need to extract ASAP. I reach you, no man. We got a recon team hold up in the engine sphere. They'll take care of your evac. We're on our way, Major. Man, this okay, was. No man! My suit power's falling fast! This was way less uh, frustrating, just like the other alien part, than I remembered from 10 years ago. Then I was really like dying way more over there. Screw you, alien. Okay, we need to have um, no a, he man. a heat source. Help me. Yeah, I'm not yeah. Gonna make it. Take it easy, bro. I wanted to... Here, check it out. The little glistering of the... Come on! No way that you're dying on me now. Okay. I'm with you. Ah, I can't hold out much longer. Okay, we're going. I was just um, um, admiring the little glisterings of the icicles. Okay, I think it's good. Oh no, we now have Over to. Over there! My yeah. suit power's falling fast! Nomad, cover me! I need to regenerate! Cover you from what? Okay, I think there is a big fight coming up with that one. Too bad I don't have a rocket launcher anymore. And I there are actually more of them. I think it's a good time. I think the video is already pretty long Got you six. to uh, cut it off here and continue the fight in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope to see you in the next video. Guys, always keep on gaming. See you later.